And now, ladies Good evening, and everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Mayweather's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. Robert Guerrero's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Introducing first, coming out of Grand Rapids, Monty Mayweather. And his opponent across the ring. An impressive record of 28 wins, 18 knockouts with only one defeat. Hailing from Gilroy, Robert Gorilla! All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheap skates. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that... Hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Nice block by Money. A well-placed... Gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Move your head. Little head hunting with the left. You see him holding on. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Money's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. Oh, veteran move. Counter shot to the head. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Straight right was lined up, but he missed.
The Ghost's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Here we go, round two is underway. Nice block by Money. Up top with a left. Money's defense is paying off now. Mayweather's out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. They go, each man getting the best of it. He missed with that headshot. Stay away from those. Nice. How about that left hand? Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Robert Guerrero's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Seconds to go in this round. Guerrero's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheeks. Up top with the right hand. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. A round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the fit. He's confident. Winning this fight. All right. All right, listen, you need to create more counters, okay? Slip the punch. And round number three is underway. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Really frustrating his opponent now. Mayweather so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Hey, 
Head and body. Head and body. That's a nice right hand that time by Money. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Turns on that exchange. Left and, right. Left and, and you see right. what he can do when he sends that right to the head. <laughs> Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Unable to score with the hook. Yeah. Oh, good exchange there. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they control deep, but they control the short patterns. They control the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Move your head! Guerrero's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Well placed left hand there. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. He just missed that shot up top. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, count it. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Don't get terrible. Don't fight the fight. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Money's in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Guerrero's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Nice work, nice work. Keep that in. Good block. Robert Guerrero's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is one. the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Solid uppercut. Fires right back at him. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Money's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on.
He's tight! He's tight! See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that hey, downstairs. Keep your hands up. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Scored well upstairs with the right hand. And we come to the end of the round. The ghost's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Hey, just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? Round number five has arrived. Robert Guerrero's coming off a very determined three moments that was quite impressive. In fact, I think he's got a chance to get right back in this fight, Teddy. Well, Joe, I'll tell you what, I'll go one step better. He's right back in this fight. All he has to do is keep that attitude and keep that same kind of rhythm he had in the last round. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Guerrero's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nice! Goes up top with the right hand. well up top halfway through this round it's okay pay him back oh he just misses with that headshot Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Guerrero's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, we're gonna take a bet. Not able to land the headshot. seconds of this fifth round he got hit but he sends it right back in and out, in and out. what a good war this has been what a good good solid fight it's been the kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy it almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision where if they didn't win by knockout it doesn't count can't just move around you gotta move your hands in there. Let's go. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making it harder than it has to be. The start of the sixth round. 
Money's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical ability. What he's got to do is try to time him on the way in. Super two-punch combo by Money. Robert Guerrero's punch is far off the target. Double up on your punches! Halfway through round six. Good job! Robert Guerrero's in desperate need, Teddy, of a little bit. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good return fire that time. Solid. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Guerrero's wish came true. He was hoping for the end of that round. Now he has it. That was the only thing stopping him from going down. Yeah, but it's not over. You know, you have to think like a fighter thinks. Yeah, for that moment, he got a reprieve. But he's got to go back in one minute and face it again. Does he have the wherewithal to do that? All right. All right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Money's making for a very, very difficult night for his opponent. His opponent, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any... Oh, and there you go. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Mayweather's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Money Mayweather.
Money's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.